Hi there and welcome back to another NJS instructional video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install an ARB recovery point to your Isuzu MUX or DMAX. Now this is the ARB 8 ton recovery point which we'll be installing on the vehicle today. It suits the right hand side of the vehicle. The vehicle is already fitted with the left hand side ARB recovery points. Now this recovery point was originally red, but for personal preferences I've just painted it in black. Now the recovery point will be mounted to the chassis, so we'll have to remove a few of these panels in order to get good access to the chassis and install our recovery point. Now for vehicles fitted with an ARB bull bar, we'll have to remove this wing guard and also the stone guard underneath and also the bash plate, the factory bash plate, in order to get good access to the chassis. Now that the wing panel's off, we have to remove this stone guard and then the OEM bash plate. So now the wing plate, the stone guard and the OEM bash plate are off. So now that our guarding's removed, we've got good clear access to the chassis. Now using an 18mm drill bit, we're going to have to open up this hole as well as on the other side of the chassis in order for us to fit our crush tube. Now that the hole's been opened up to 18 millimeters, we're just going to clean the surface. We've exposed obviously the steel, so we need to paint that um, just to prevent any corrosion. So I'm just going to use some mineral terps and clean up this area and then give it a spray of black paint. And I'm just going to be using this Dulux Metal Shield Epoxy Enamel, and it's a gloss black colour. And I'm just going to clean a bit of the runoff, and we'll give it some time for that paint to dry before we put our recovery point on. Now while the paintwork is drying, it's a good idea we'll just go over the hardware that we need for this recovery point. So this is our main bolt, the one we just drilled out for the chassis, and that's the crush tube there. And these are the two upper bolts, so we'll remove the ones that are currently on there and fit them with these fasteners, and that's the crush tubes for them. And this is the plates which will go on the inside of the chassis, like that, for this section. These two fasteners here are our, um, I believe, M10 for the tow hook, so we're not going to use the factory ones and replace it with these. Um, plate washer, one for this big fastener here, and these two are if you don't have a recovery point on the other side where you can actually space the OEM bash plate, so we won't actually be needing these, but we'll just keep them as spares. And this little fastener here is actually for the wing guard, but we don't actually need it um, with this current bull bar here. And these are the hex nuts, flange nut here, um, two regular hex nuts for these two fasteners and the washers accordingly, like that. So while the paint's drying, we can remove these two fasteners, which we'll be replacing with our new fasteners from the recovery point kit. Just be careful. You don't want to lose these crush tubes in the actual chassis. 
it's going to be rattling for a very long time. Again, while we're waiting, I might just clean up the surface area over here just to make it nice and clean. Now that the paintwork is dry, we're going to loosely fit our recovery points. Now just be careful when installing the fasteners. Again, you don't want that crush tube to fall through the chassis because um, there might not be a way to get it out. So now that all the fasteners are loosely in position, we're just going to remove them one by one and use a Loctite thread locker. And for this we'll be using a Loctite 263 thread locker, which is a high strength, and that'll be our chemical adhesive, so it'll help prevent the fasteners from rattling loose, and it'll also help with rust as well. And we start off with these two bolts, and then we work our way up. So now that the fasteners are all done up tight, we're just going to torque each fastener according to their torque spec. And to do that I'll be using this torque wrench and be setting the torque accordingly for each of the fasteners. Now for these two M10 fasteners, we'll be torquing them to 44 Newton meters. And likewise with these M10 fasteners, we'll also be torquing them to 44 Newton meters. And last but not least, this M12 fastener, we're going to torque to 90 Newton meters. So now that the recovery point is installed and all the fasteners are torqued to spec, the last thing I'd like to do is just put this protective wax over the fastener surfaces and it just gives it some sort of protective layer against water and eventually rust. Now it's time to fit our guards back in place and what I forgot is that I'll actually have to remove this fastener in order to put the OEM bash plate back in.
So that completes the installation of the recovery point. So now we have an equal right hand and left hand ARB recovery point. All our guards are back in place and our recovery point has been fitted to the chassis of the vehicle. I hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell notification icon. Thanks for watching.